Right, welcome to this review uh, for some battlefield accessories that I've got from a company called Grim Skull. And they uh, produce, they're an interesting company, they produce uh, miniatures that can go alongside your Games Workshop stuff. Uh, now, I'm not usually a fan of that. Uh, the armies that I use, it's usually Games Workshop, or it, it's all Games Workshop, it's all miniatures. Uh, but I know there's plenty of people out there that do like to have uh, other figures that they use from, from other companies to represent different uh, miniatures in the game. So that's what they seem to specialise in mostly, but when I was browsing around on the website um, they do have some really good Battlefield accessory stuff uh, that you can use as well. That's what we're going to take a look at here. It's a small order that I've made, uh, but really excited uh, about the products that I've got come through. So uh, one of the products that I've got here is they sell uh, packs of skulls, just skulls on their own, and you can see there's loads of them here uh, that you get through in a pack. The sculpting is very, very good quality. I'm going to open this and we'll take a closer look. Uh, but immediately I saw these, uh, I thought to myself, yeah, they would be brilliant if I could uh, paint loads of them and just have heaps of skulls in a game. What a, uh, I mean, that would look superb uh, in a game uh, as far as like Battlefield accessories and to set the mood and the tone of a particular game. So, uh, and as I, said, as I said, they're already very nicely produced. Well, I've, the philosophy that I take, um, is I do like to have my miniatures that are produced by Games Workshop, uh, but as far as battlefield terrain and accessories, that kind of stuff, um, I do like to use other companies. Um, and these guys have produced some really nice stuff. There's other things as well I'm going to show you. Uh, we'll take a closer look up, uh, look at those in just a moment. Uh, but there's the skulls there. So they're called Grim Skull. Um, there's two. There's two websites. Uh, there's Grim skull.com if you go on there there's got sort of paint uh, pictures of painted miniatures and so on that you can see on there uh, and then uh, the I'll, I'll list them in the description here as well but the actual online store is called war games exclusive uh, so it's war game exclusive um, it's all one word war game exclusive.com actually based in Ukraine so a European company uh, but uh, the package has arrived here no problem uh, very reasonably priced and I'm just very excited about these here. I'm going to get these painted up. And then I can use them in so many different scenarios. Um, and just scatter these around. I think they'd look really cool. So this pack of skulls here, uh, you get 64 skulls in there. And it's it's 10 euros uh, for it. So it's very reasonable. Um, I reckon I can spray these up, put some washes on them, highlight them quickly. Uh, but I've gone for a load of them here. Um, these also actually very very good to add to your bases as well when you're doing your modelling. So you can uh, cut these up, um, scatter a few of them on your base, or you can heap them up, glue them, you know, super glue them in heaps, uh, and really add some nice effects. But uh, the quality of them is very good. I'm going to open a pack here, and we'll take a closer look. So they're just zooming in, so you can see. They're not all the same, they've sculpted them differently. Uh, you've got ones here with the top broken off. You see the shards of it there. Bullet hole through the head here. And another one here, but they're all they're all different. Looks like a bionic one here as well. Yeah, this is very, very nice stuff. Can't fault these. Yeah, I was wondering, yeah, yeah, they've got ones with the complete jaw as well. Bone on there as well. So, very, very good indeed. So, nice variety there. They're not all the same. Uh, there's, they're very, very good indeed. Quality of the sculpting's 10 out of 10 on these, so very impressed with them. Yeah, it's so then just showing you the back here. Again, the detail, look, you see, they're all different. Yeah, no, very impressed with these. 10 out of 10 for this particular pack. You know, and you, you're not paying out too much, and you can get yourself, especially for basing, I think it's, it's basing. Uh, getting a hold of skulls is really good. Maybe if they did, just wondering, skeleton sets. I do miss the old plastic set that Games Workshop used to do. It was a plain uh, skeletons. Um, and it was just pretty much just the, without anything on, without any art. You had to add the armor and so on. That kind of set is so useful. I'd use some of them in the 40k terrain, uh, the urban sets that I have. Those skeletons uh, that are lying around is based on that old, old set. Uh, it, with the quality of these, if these, if this company did complete skeletons, um, so uh, you say rib cage and legs, and then arms separate and so on, uh, then that's going to open up possibilities there. 
uh, and that would be very very uh, interesting to see that but anyway this set of skulls they've done is really good brilliant for battlefield accessories um, you can add to your terrain I might have I, I think I'm going to do these um, I'm going to do a, a pile of these so just cut them off as they are paint them up individually quickly with washes and so on highlight them up and then just have them as loose scatter around the table um, just to I think that look really good so uh, very very good stuff from them there's more stuff though I've got uh, some other things come through as well Right, so the other thing that I've got is, uh, there's a number of accessories that they do, but here they do a set of books. I'll show you what these look like, and you'll see why I bought them. And again, this is what stuff that I can scatter around on the battlefield, or add to bases. Look at these books that they've made. You know, the books that like uh, Space Marine chaplains would carry and so on. Um, then, these are very, very well put together. And they come in different sizes. You get a pack here of five, and it's five euros for a pack. Here's one that's sealed up, purity seal on the top, so they blend in perfect for Warhammer 40,000. Um, and then there's another one here, look at that one. Really, really good. And again, I'm just planning to, I might use some on bases, but planning to uh, paint these up and just have them scattered around um, the battlefield. Here's one under lock and chain. So there's that set, these are closed books. And then, not only do they do closed book books, but in another pack, they actually do books that are open. So again, brilliant for scattering around uh, the table. Open books here. See this one? Really, really nice. I think they'll paint up really good. The sculpting quality is very, very good indeed. Yeah. Terrain accessories. Nice quality battlefield accessories I'm a big fan of. There's one here, the purity seal on it there. Details on. Details on the back as well. Um, so brilliant for adding to your basing. Um, with a tiny little book just here, very small. I mean, you maybe even fit these on your actual miniatures if you wanted to add. But imagine, imagine like you're painting a Space Marine Chaplain and then uh, around the base you add these skulls and then these books closed and opened. I mean what an atmospheric base you could put together. So very very nice indeed. So that's the open and closed books. There, those sets, very impressed with them. Got a number of them. Um, as I said, for themed games, I uh, really like putting the themed games together. Uh, and then for the skulls, I've got one pack, two, three, four, five packs. So you're looking at about 250 skulls there. <laughs> but uh, it might look too much when, because um, they're very small. Uh, but I think scattered around and in heaps, I think they'll look brilliant on the battlefield and also on the bases of miniatures as well so very impressed with them but as i said there's two websites to check out you've got the on online store uh, wargameexclusive.com uh, and then also you can check out the painted miniatures and they've they've done sort of interesting versions of the different factions again the sculpting is very good they would i have to say they would blend in well uh with your regular 40k miniatures it's not really the route that i'm going to go down uh but for me the battlefield accessories here they do other stuff as well um check out the store uh, for that, do things like shoulder pads and heads and different backpacks. Um, so um, I've, that's another option as well. Nice quality stuff there from Grim Skull. Um, so you can check out their painted stuff there at grim-skull.com as well. Uh, that gives sort of online galleries of their stuff. Also, there it is. That's the review. Looking forward to getting this stuff painted up and featuring uh, on both of the channels. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.